what's going on YouTube. For a long time, Raiders fans were worried about Derek Carr's contract, especially in February. When Josh McDaniels, the head coach, and general manager Dave Ziegler were hired, we were wondering what's going to happen with this contract, and nothing was said. Nothing was said. No, There was no commitment made by McDaniels, by Ziegler. And that's what you got to do in these negotiations. You can't, you can't show your hand too quickly. And then afterwards, the Max Crosby extension happened. The Devontae Adams trade happened. And we all sort of just forgot about Derek Carr's contract. We assumed everything's great if they're going to bring his teammate from Fresno State. Clearly, Derek Carr is fully bought in. But hey, let's check out these comments that Josh McDaniels made at the owner's meeting on Derek Carr's contract. I feel Derek's fit on the team is, is, as a player is obviously uh, you know what, what we're looking for and what we want to try to build around. I mean, look, I, you know, our relationship continues to, uh, to grow personally. Uh, we, we won't be able to do anything on the field here for a little bit, but you know, that'll be a process. And I think ultimately, you know, you try to do what's best for the team. And I think both sides got to do what's best for, you know, it, 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 when we get into those conversations with Derek, you know, Derek's going to have to make decisions about what's best for him. That's what each man's right is, and they should do that for their families. And at the same time, you know, we got to try to do what's right for the team. And, uh, you know, there'll, there'll be a sweet spot in there, hopefully, for everybody, and we'll be, we'll be excited to go forward like that. And these comments are really weird because it would appear that nothing is done yet. It, it seems like there has been no movement in terms of his contract yet, despite the fact that the Devontae Adams trade happened, the Crosby extension happened. So, I mean, you got to ask yourself, why is there no extension in place? I mean, Max Crosby has been paid. Chandler Jones has been paid. Devontae Adams has been paid. He's definitely going to be on the team for the next three years. So what's going on with Derek Carr? And when you look at these comments by Josh McDaniels, there's been no movement yet, and he's saying, oh, we, we got to see what's comfortable for, for Derek Carr and see what's comfortable for the team. So clearly Derek Carr and his agent are still trying to get a lot of money in their upcoming contract. And the way that this question was prompted to Josh McDaniels, uh, it, it, the preface was the fact that Quarterbacks get paid a lot of money these days. We just saw Deshaun Watson get the most guaranteed money of any quarterback uh, in history, despite the fact that he has you know, some issues going on off the field right now. So what's going to happen with Derek Carr? Clearly, Derek Carr knows he can get paid a lot of money at quarterback. And clearly, the team, Ziggler and Josh McDaniel, knows that they have a limit on, on what they could pay Derek Carr, especially after divvying out contracts for Devontae Adams and Max Crosby and Chandler Jones. So you have to wonder, this trade, it, it, it would appear that Derek Carr was heavily involved in this trade with Devontae Adams, or maybe he wasn't. Maybe he wasn't, and, and this trade is a tool, a tool to try to get Derek Carr to take less money, to take a team-friendly deal with this team, saying, hey, we got you one of your favorite players in the NFL, your favorite receiver in the NFL. We got him here, and we paid him a crap load of money. Therefore, we can't afford to pay you what you would want market quarterback rate, which everybody knows these days is $40 million a year for Derek Carr. Derek Carr by all market estimations, would make $40 million a year based on his talent, based on his history, based on his resume, right? So we got to figure out what's really going on here. And I have a feeling that the reason why these contracts have stalled is because Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler are trying to do what a lot of people thought they might do, which is just get Derek Carr to play on that $19 million a year contract in the last year of his deal that was signed in 2017. The question is, will Derek Carr play on that contract? Will his agent force him to hold out. Now, I don't think that will happen, but it, it appears that Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels would like to push these negotiations out, would like to keep talking, keep hammering it out, keep going back and forth. And like McDaniels said, there has to be a sweet spot. Where can we meet this sweet spot? So by saying that, he, he, he is already admitting that his camp is trying to get Derek Carr to take a, a, less, a lot less money, and Derek Carr's camp is trying to get him to get the most amount of money. And that's, that's totally common with negotiations. You have agents talking on Twitter saying typically you, you don't say much uh, in, in this period of offseason because you want to hammer out a deal and you don't want to give up your hand at all in this situation. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. Like, does, does Derek Carr straight up play on this deal? I, I've said the whole year that if I was his agent, I would tell him, no, you, you, you do not play – on a $19 million contract in your final year. At the end of the day, we know it's a risk for Derek Carr to play on that contract. We know it's a risk for Derek Carr to play on $19 million a year with no guarantees. And if he gets hurt, what happens to him next year? He'll, he'll be a free agent. The Raiders can move on from him, and he won't do that well in the market if he has an injury. So it makes rational sense for him to try to get an extension in place, whatever that may be. However, if it's not, if it's not market rate, 
I mean, he's essentially hurting himself. He's essentially hurting himself and, and, and how much money he could earn as a quarterback. And think about Derek Carr. He's 31 years old. He turned 31 today. Whatever deal he gets right now, by, by most estimations, is going to be the last deal and last contract of his life. This is going to be the last contract of his life. Do you really want to take a team-friendly deal in the last contract of your life, of your whole entire career? A lot of people would say no. A lot of people would say no. And there's another flip side to this. Would the NFL Players Association, which does pressure players in certain ways, would they be okay with Derek Carr taking a team-friendly deal? Now, the NFL Players Association has always been kind of upset with Tom Brady and the fact that Tom Brady has always taken team-friendly deals because what that does is it lowers the value of other quarterbacks in the league. So if you have someone like Tom Brady taking team-friendly deals, and this is, this is written in uh, Mike Florio's book, Playmakers, if you got people like Tom Brady taking team-friendly deals, then other quarterbacks aren't going to get a, a, a lot of money because people are going to say, hey, you're no Brady and you want $30 million a year? You know, Brady's playing for $20 million a year, right? S simple math like that. So this same thing could happen with Derek Carr where the NFL Players Association would be like, hey, Derek Carr, I don't think it's smart for you to take a team-friendly deal because that's going to ruin the market for our union, for other quarterbacks in our union. And that's, look, whether we like it or not, these are things that happen behind the scenes, and these things have an impact. So there's multiple forces at play to, to force Derek Carr to get as much money as possible, even, even if Derek Carr personally, even if he personally wants to take a team-friendly deal. You got your agent on one side saying no. You got the NFL Players Association on the other side saying no. So those things are going to have an impact for Derek Carr for sure. And it'll be interesting to see what happens because at least, at the very least, we know David Carr, Derek's brother on Cowherd Show, said there has to be a commitment from the organization to Derek Carr. And that commitment also entailed bringing weapons, bringing weapons and forces that can help Derek Carr win a championship. I believe Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels have honored that. They have committed to Derek Carr in that way in the sense that, that they have solidified this defense. They, pay, they paid big money to have a great duo pass rush in Chandler Jones and Max Crosby, and they committed to Derek Carr by giving him his favorite weapon, the, the, the main weapon he could possibly ask for in the NFL to help him win a championship. So the pieces around Derek Carr you know, have been established. And they have allowed Derek Carr to per perhaps pursue a championship if he continues to be on this team. And I think he will. I mean, I do think Derek Carr and Josh McDaniels and David Ziegler will come to an agreement at some point. I think from Derek Carr's side, it does make sense because at the end of the day, you don't want to drag this out to force him to play on that $19 million contract. But like I said a little bit earlier, I do think it makes sense for Ziegler and McDaniels to kind of pressure Derek Carr to play on that $19 million contract because look, look. I mean, if he doesn't do well with Devontae, I think he's going to do well, right? And, and even McDaniel said Derek Carr has you know, everything we want at quarterback. In the event that he doesn't do well, in the event that the Derek Carr show does not work out, the Derek Carr-Devontae Adams connection isn't that hot, if he's only on that one-year deal, you can move on from the guy. You can move on from the guy next year, and, and guess what? Guess what? The Raiders don't have a first-round pick this year. They don't have a second-round pick this year. But next year – when the draft's in Kansas City, by the way, they do have a first-round pick and a second-round pick, and who knows, maybe they can get even more draft capital. So, uh, I mean, it's just interesting to me that this is not done yet. This is not over, and we're going to have to wait. We're going to have to wait and see what happens, and basically, in the first week of April, we're going to be able to tell a lot about what's happening here. There's going to be OTAs. They're voluntary. The, the veterans could decide whether or not they want to attend this spring training that's going to happen. Optional team activities, right? And we'll see. Will Derek Carr show up? I think he's going to show up because he's a leader and a captain of the team. He's going to show up regardless of his contract situation. But for other players, too, we'll, we'll see if they show up. Maybe some of these players who are, you know, on the final year after being a first-round pick, people like uh, Josh Jacobs, people like Cleveland Farrell, people like Jonathan Abram, are they going to show up? You know, I assume they're going to show up because they want to be in good graces with the organization to try to get an extension in place. But it's going to give us a clear picture about who sees themselves being a part of this team in the future, being a part of this team in the long run. And I hope Derek Carr is going to be a part of the team in the long run. And hopefully they get an extension in place. That way we just have some comfort and there's no hangups about getting to work immediately and trying to win a championship with the Raiders. And I do think the Devontae Adams trade makes it more likely that Derek Carr stays at quarterback, at least for the next three years. At least for the next three years, we know it's going to be Devontae Adams. And for the next three years, it should be Derek Carr throwing to Devontae Adams. And if this project doesn't work, hopefully Mark Davis has a long leash for Josh McDaniels in order for him to move past 
that phase in case it doesn't work out. You, know, you got three years of DC to Devontae. I think it's going to work out great. I think it's going to be awesome. We'll see what happens, though. Peace out, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like this video if you watch it all the way through. And subscribe to this channel. We're going to have more updates for you every single day. Peace out and have a good one.